Hey plant gang, one of our most ubiquitous uh, native conifers uh, between Colorado and the eastern United States is Juniperus virginiana, the eastern red cedar, Juniperus virginiana, eastern red cedar. Now, how do you spell red cedar? Well, you, you smash the word red and cedar together as one word. Why do you do that? Because it's not a true cedar at all. True cedars are in the genus Cedrus. Uh, that's not what this is. This is a juniper, but the common names, and we know that common names can always be tricky, is uh, junip it's Juniperus virginiana eastern red cedar. And so the common name uh, kind of tells us something, and this plant is not. And we show that it's not a true cedar by smashing that common name together as a red cedar. Now, Juniperus, Juniperus virginiana, you got to smell it. You got to learn the smell of juniper uh, to know this plant. It is an evergreen conifer. Uh, plants can be fully male, they can be fully female, or they can be both. Uh, you'll see female trees loaded uh, with berries at the end of the summer. Well, I call them berries, but they're actually a unique form of cone. Uh, like a lot of gymnosperms, uh, conifers, they have cones. And that thing that looks like a berry is actually a type of cone. And they make uh, a kind of alcohol out of that berry. You, maybe you make a comment down below if you know uh, what that kind of alcohol is. Uh, but you uh, drive on the sides of the roads and you see eastern red cedar, and they're just like people. They come in all different shapes and sizes. There's tall ones and skinny ones, fat ones and tall ones, uh, all over the place, different forms and shapes of eastern red cedar. It's used particularly in uh, the Great Plains as a windbreak tree, uh, but for us farther uh, in the eastern part of the United States, uh, you encounter it more on rocky uh, soils uh, in the wild. Juniperus virginiana, the eastern red cedar, 40 to 50 foot high, 8 to 20 foot wide, densely pyramidal, typically, or oval when young, maturing uh, to a slightly pendulous pyra or pyramidal form, so really all over the place, hardy from zones 3B through 9. It is the alternate host for cedar apple rust. It can be impacted by bag root, bag worms, juniper blight, a lot of different things. Uh, commercially, the wood is used because uh, for things like lining closet, cedar chest, it's got a very aromatic wood. Uh, they chip it up and they, they use it for animal bedding. Uh, the wood is used to make pencils. Uh, so a lot of different uses for the wood. Uh, and that's one way that it's, uh, it's utilized. Uh, quite rot resistant wood as well. Here's a landscape tip. Good native juniper for screening, managed hedges or windbreaks. Avoid planting near apples to avoid cedar apple rust.